Yo, what's up people? Today we're going to be looking at five text animations that I think work really well with most projects. I've used these techniques myself and they really impress clients. And best of all, they're really easy to make. If you would like free editing assets and to join a community with like-minded editors, check out my Discord server linked in the pinned comment. Okay, let's get on with the first text animation. If you'd like to follow along with me or get access to any of my other project files, you can become a Patreon link in the description or pinned comment. Okay, so now we're inside of After Effects. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the text tool. You're gonna to get whatever you want, type whatever you want. So this is gonna be scale reveal. Make it how you like it. Align it, pick your font. I'm gonna be picking a font called Balto today. I'm gonna to make it ultra. We're gonna make it all caps by coming to this little cap tool. And then we're just gonna increase the scale like so. All right, we come to the drop down menu of the text. We're gonna hit this animate button here. I'm gonna, we're gonna add a scale and we're going to open up the range selector and the advanced. And we're going to set the offset to minus 100, then change the shape to ramp up. Then we're gonna set the first value to minus 100. Then we're gonna set this value to 100. And we're gonna come to this scale, we're going to make it zero. Now, when we animate the offset, it will be like this. So what we're gonna do, come to our first keyframe, animate the offset, go to wherever you want it to end, say two seconds, and then make it 100. And then what we can do is highlight both our keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then now. Okay, we're going to highlight both the keyframes and we're gonna hold Alt and drag this furthest point in so we make it shorter. That's looking good. And then as always, we are going to come to effects and presets and type posterize time. We're going to make it 15. And boom, now you have it. Okay, for this text effect, it's going to be like an ink bleed. It's something Vox uses really frequently and it's incredibly easy. And you can also just save it as a preset, which is great. So we're going to create our text. We're going to type ink reveal. I'm going to right click transform center the anchor point and then come to your line tool go center like that you're going to increase the scale to however big you want it that big's pretty pretty good maybe a little bit smaller and then we're going to come to our effects and presets tab and we're going to type simple choker i drag it onto the layer and we're going to come to this choke mat and you can see it like adds and takes away from the from the like text and then we're going to animate the choke mat we're going to start at 100 and then we're going to come to where we want to finish so one and a half make it zero then we're going to right click keyframe assistant easy ease come to the graph editor and we're going to make the graph look like this just drag this point all the way in and then to make it look more like an ink bleed we're going to come to the effects and presets panel and type rough and edges in and we're going to make the border 17.5 and the complexity 10. And then we're going to come between halfway through these uh, the simple choker anchor point uh, uh, keyframes. And then we're going to animate the border. Press U on our keyboard to bring it up. Go to the last keyframe, make it zero. And we're just going to right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. But we're not going to graph edit this time. And this is what we're going to be left with. Okay, and the final touches are going to be posterized time. So we're going to search out posterized time. And then we're going to make it 12. For this next effect, it's probably like the basis of super advanced text animations. And this one's a little more complicated, but once you once you do it once, you understand it fully. So as always, we're going to start with our text. We go just type bounce. We're going to pick our font. I'm going to pick one called Alpha Kind. Align it, center it, make it as big as you want. Make it nice and big. And then we are going to right click the, the text layer. We're going to come to this create and we're going to create shapes from text. Now, we're going to duplicate this shape layer to how many letters we have in the word. So for this instance, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. 
six. Okay, now, so you have to follow along very closely. This, this is the most confusing part. So we're going to hide these and we are going to come inside of the bounce layers and go to contents. And you can see now there's all the letters. So for this one, we're gonna name it B. So we're only going to have the B. So we're gonna delete all the rest of these layers. And then for the rest of these, we're gonna go, this one's O, this one's U, this one's C, oh, that one's N, this one's C, and then this one's E. Okay, gonna go into here, contents, delete everything but the O, because we named it that layer. And then we're going to do the same for this. Okay, the N, and then the C, and then the E. So now we should have the letters spelled out. Okay, like individually. Okay, we're going to come to our letters, select the one, go to the pan behind tool, the anchor one, and you see this little like crosshair? We're just gonna drag it to the bottom of the letter for each one of these. There are like plugins that do this for you. I think there's, there's motion tools, which is free, but um, I just don't have it. And for letters like the N, when there's nothing in the middle, you're gonna just drag it over here. So it, so it starts from this. So the anchor point is where the animations will start from. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is highlight all of our layers, press S on our keyboard to bring up the scale. And we're just gonna unlink all of these. And we're gonna animate them all. And then the first keyframe is going to be zero. So the Y position for the scale is zero. And then we're gonna come maybe, you know, 15 keyframes out, whatever, however, however many keyframes you want outwards. And we are going to make this higher than the X value. So let's make this 700. So it's gonna come out and then we're going to come to the same amount of keyframes. We're gonna make this less than 635. And this is one of the 12 principles, which is gonna be squash and stretch. Um, so we're going to make it, let's say, just about 600. So it bounces, maybe a little less, I think. Yeah, I think roughly like 500 will be good. So 540. And then this last keyframe is going to be all of these values, but 635. Okay. And then when we look at it, it's way too slow. I didn't realize it's over four seconds. So we're going to highlight all of our keyframes. Hold alt and just drag them in. That's still way too slow. There you go. And we're going to right click keyframe assistant easy ease graph editor and we're just going to highlight these first points drag them drag them in then for these next points we're going to do the same so then your graph should look like this and you see how it's really springy sweet now what we're going to do is we're going to select your layers press r on your keyboard i'm going to rotate them and then we are going to press U to find out. We're gonna to come to about here. So we're gonna drag all of our R keyframes to about here. And then we're gonna make it minus seven. So it's a really like slight, subtle thingy. So we're going to select them all. We're just going to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then we're going to graph edit them like this. And then now what you're going to do is you're just going to sequence the layers. So select the top, drag them out, deselect this one, drag it out, do the same. So just staggering your layers. So it should look like this. Sweet. Now that's basically the bounce effect done. You can add way more to it to make it look great and all super advanced text animations that have like these bounces and text flying forward and spinning and stuff. This is the basis of it. Okay, so moving on to the fourth text animation, we're gonna be using Simple Choker again. So again, type your text out. Just type fire, reveal, and then we're going to go to the font, select your font, which is dirty headline, right click, 
transform, center it, align it in the middle. And then this is really important, the text effect won't work if you don't do this. So go to paragraph and make sure it's centered because when we do the tracking, if it's not centered, it, the, the tracking pulling outwards will be really wonky or on one side. Soon you'll see what I mean. Okay, we're gonna increase the scale of our text. Okay, and then change the color to a nice orangey. Okay, now we're gonna add simple choker. Gonna go from 82 to zero. So here, animate it again. Just gonna copy the same graph as we did. Nice. And then we are going to come to the add tab. So we're gonna click the drop down. We go to animate. We're gonna to go to tracking. So then you'll see now you can pull the text out. Okay, so what we're gonna do, come to the first keyframe. We're gonna have it at like four, anywhere from four to like seven or whatever. Come to the last keyframe you want, so like eight. We're just gonna have it go to like 22. So it pulls out, comes out. And then we're going to right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. And we're gonna make a really sharp graph, okay, like an L graph. Then we're just gonna highlight the keyframes, move them a little. And make sure it's at the start of when the text starts to appear, so here. Like that. Sweet. And then to make it look better, this isn't a stock plugin. You can use regular glow, but you won't have the same effect. And I highly recommend getting deep glow. So I'll put it in the description below. I'm gonna add deep glow. I'm gonna go to exposure exposure, make it 0.5 and make this like 0.2. A little bit up maybe 0.4. I think 0.3 is like the perfect amount. It's really up to you. You can customize it however you want, but I'm just gonna do that. Okay, and then after doing the deep blow, we're gonna add a really subtle flicker. So we're gonna type up brightness and contrast. We're gonna add it, go to the brightness. We're gonna hold alt and click to get expression window up. Then we're gonna type up wiggle 2222, 20. Now, if you look, it will have a really subtle glow. And of course, the final thing you do and should be doing for all of your animations, text, and whatever you do is create an adjustment layer. Let's so call this FPS. I'm gonna posterize time. I'm gonna make it 12. This last text, an this last text animation is well worth the extra time you put in. So as usual, we're gonna start off with our text, just gonna put grunge, whoops. Then we are going to make the font Helvetica, make it white, make sure the tracking is super close. So this VA thing and drag it inwards and it will do the amount of the, the gaps between the text. So I'm gonna have it really close. Then right click, center the anchor point to the align tool we're going to increase the size i think i'm going to make it even closer together there's hardly any gap there you go and then the first thing we're going to do is create a new solid so Control y then it's just any color it doesn't matter we're just going to call this blur map now type the effect up fractal noise drag it on and then first thing first we're going to change the type to subscale. The goal for the goal for this is going to be making it really sharp black and white. So we're going to make the contrast 630. We're going to make the brightness minus 130. And then we're going to come to the transform tab and make sure uniform scaling is tab, uh, typed in. We're going to 1100 to make the complexity 5. Then we're going to come to the evolution tab. We're going to hold alt click. We're going to type times asterisk 200. And then now if you look, it's moving around loads. And then for the rotation, I'm gonna hold alt, expression again, we're gonna do times asterisk 10. So it will look something like this. Then we're going to hide the blur map layer. And we are going to add 
the effect compound blur to the text. And we're going to come to here, make it the blur map, and then effects and masks. And you can see there's now blurs on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the blend mode for the text to dancing dissolve. And now it will look like this. I think I'm going to increase the size of the text so it looks like this. Now it's like really grungy, really, I think this looks, it's an awesome look, great for, you know, brands, maybe, maybe esports stuff. I've seen a lot of stuff like that for esports. Then as always, the last thing you do, create an, create an adjustment layer, make it FPS, name it FPS, type posturize time, and make it 12, and then boom. If you found this video helpful and learned something new, please subscribe, drop a like, it would mean the world to me. Lastly, my socials and any relevant links will be down in the description. And if you have a suggestion for a tutorial you'd like to see, please comment it down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.